everyone. I'm Nicole Renee, but I like to go by Nikki. And welcome back to my channel. Got a wig review for you today. And I know it is not my normal schedule of Monday, Thursday, or Friday. But as I've told you before, when a new wig comes on the market that I want to try, as soon as I get it, I will film it and upload it for you. So you don't have to wait for my normal schedule. Uh, so, of course... This is a new wig. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe because I've got some newer wigs that I bought besides just this one to bring to you. Uh, so you're going to be seeing a little bit more of me in the upcoming days and weeks. But this one here, like I said, is new. She's also got a, f there's a few other new wigs from the same collection you might want to check out. But I want to make sure that you tell me what you think in the comments down below. Be respectful though, this world is too cruel of a place already. But today I'm going to be talking about Janet Collections Carrie, that's C-A-R-I. Uh, she's a lace front from their Natural Me Light collection. She's got blowout texture. And the color I have her in is one I've never heard of before. So bear with me here, but that's what kind of intrigued me about it. It's DRFF1B ESPR BLND. Something about this is making me think of coffee. So espresso blonde, maybe? I don't know. That's new. Uh, but either way, she comes in a lot of other colors to choose from. Uh, so she also has a deep part lace, ear to ear lace, is heat safe up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And I picked her up from divatrust.com for $37.99. I like her. She's kind of fun. She kind of looks like a fun type of girl to hang out with, don't you think? Uh, but not only that, but I think this is a great daily style, good work style, good summer style. Uh, but I know that the photo here looks a little different. Uh, this is how she's advertised as, but... I liked it more full like this. So she's got versatility options with styling too. So you can wear more full or, you know, tame it down to look more like this. Not only that, but she also came with more curls. And obviously I kind of brushed some of those down a bit. But if you like the more full curly look, you can wear it like that too. So options are important. Uh, and I love this color. I'm glad I tried it. It does remind me a little bit of Zuri Sisters Earthy and the Samrut Pecan. Just kind of similar tones. Uh, and it does have a 1B root. It doesn't go throughout though, just be aware of that. And then you have this really pretty like brown here that looks like cream colored coffee. And then there's some 613 in there too, which is kind of like latte, which is why I'm thinking espresso for the color name. Now I'm wanting coffee. Funny how that works. But either way, I like it. I think it's a gorgeous color, really pretty variations. Uh, so I like it. Uh, very good length, which is why I mentioned a good summer wig. Uh, shoulder length, so about 16 inches, I think. And I know you could be wrong with that. I've been wrong. I've gone back and looked at my previous videos and I'm like, did I really say that for the length of that wig? I know I was way, way off on it. But it's not an exact science. It's a best guesstimate, and it also depends on your height. I'm five foot five, so I'm saying 16 inches. <laughs> Leave it at that. <laughs> um, but I think it's a good length. It is good density. Again, you know, you can wear it fuller or tame down either way. But I do think the density on it's pretty nice. Uh, it is a yakky texture. It has that blowout texture, as it says. Uh, so it is more of a high, very high textured uh, wig. But I think it's gorgeous and even though it's not my own texture I still like it and I think everybody out there should wear whatever wig you want regardless of the texture be yourself love it own it uh, and that's what I'm gonna do with this one right here uh, it feels nice though it really does and not only that but yaki textures are wonderful because they're gorgeous and they don't tangle as much and this one I'm like not getting any tangles you can see that and I'm also not getting any shedding. So plus and plus. So uh, let me show you her from the back. She's just so bouncy. I love it. Uh, her parting space is really deep. Uh, I'd say about six inches. Comes to right 
here. And I know these wigs lately are coming out with really deep parts, which is good and everything, but some styles I think it's a little too much. And I think this one might be a little too much, but it's still a good space. Uh, width is really nice. Didn't have to pluck anything extra. And not only that, but the hairline's nice too right here in the front. It lays super flat and it blends really, really well. So it looks very realistic to me. Uh, so all you have to do is pick the right shade of concealer or powder and bam, she's good to go. Cause it really like took me like five minutes to get her together this morning, which I always like that. Her sides are good. Uh, they're a little on the thicker side, but this is where they come out to. But regardless, you know, her style covers it up anyway. And ear to ear lace, but look at that, hardly any lift up at all with it. And I think maybe some of that might have to do with the comb placement. Because uh, there's one comb on each side, but they're right here. I don't know, I'm guessing it might have something to do with it. But, uh, and there is also one comb in the back, with the handy dandy adjustable strap. It's a medium sized wig cap, so it should fit everybody just fine. It is really comfortable. I'm not having to use my wig grip. She's staying nice in place. I like her. I want to try the other ones from this collection now. I really do. But <laughs> I gotta wait. Uh, so I like Carrie here. And I know you're going to like her too. Because I'm psychic. No, I know. I'm not. I'm just saying it. But I think you're going to like her because she is a really good, fun wig. Uh, not only since she's new, you should be able to find her anywhere. I've seen her like all over all the wig websites. I just went to Diva Trust because they had a lot of color options to pick from at the time I bought her. Uh, so it just depends on the color you want and the price point you want to pay for. Her, but you should find her no problem. And I say you should go find her. Uh, so really, that's all I got to say about that. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have her. Let me know if there's a wig you want me to review as well. You know I'll be more than happy to do that for you too. And you will see me soon. So until then, bye-bye.